Blessings, guys. So for today's spell, it's a big one here. It's a beautiful spell. This, um, I've already, I have the pendulum board here because I make sure that spirits, my spirit guides, protectors, angels, um, ancestors are here for me. My deity, whoever that I'm working with is here for me when I'm doing spell work. This one here in particular is gorgeous. It's one of my favorite ones. This one here is for family, for children to get them motivated. So as you know, we've all been going through what we've been going through with this virus to where which we've all kind of been in enclosed, in right? Um, teenagers and children, mostly teenagers, find it a little harder to come out of that enclosure for whatever reason. Um, a lot of them I think are being, uh, they stayed stuck in the energy of like just being inside. They're ha having a hard time motiv motivating themselves to come out. And this happens to us as well. I know it's happened to me. You get in a state of depression, anxiety, um, um, hopelessness, all of that stuff, boredom. Um, your, your, your mind of creativity ha stops. Because there's no flow of energy, there's no interactions of stimulating, like we, you know, we can just set a drop of a hat, go wherever we want to go. And so right now we're living in an extraordinary time to where which things are kind of stalemate, right? And that's why I decided to create this spell. And this spell is for children, adults, uh, family. So this is like a family thing here, all right? So you need several things for sure. You're gonna need these candles. Now, the reason I have two of these is because I have four children, right? So I only had two of these. I was desperately looking for four. I could not find, so I'm gonna do two and two. Okay, two names, two names. You're gonna need your children's names and I'll do that in front of you guys. Now, when I broke this, because you need to get out of the glass, they kind of separate it, which is, it's okay. I um kind of waxed them up together. Besides that, you're gonna need a giant white one, okay? A giant white one. You cannot replace the colors, guys. Um, if you can't find these candles, you can use just all these candles um, separately. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven co colors. You're going to have to use all seven colors, okay? And you need the white one, okay? You're going to need some cord cutting ritual oil. I do have this in the shop. You're going to need a Palo Santo. You're going to need... Um, chamomile, you're going to need sulfur, you're going to need honey, you're going to need peppermint oil, essential, and then you're going to need uh, some bags of tea. Okay, now, if you don't have everything, use as many as you can for sure. You need the sulfur and the honey, okay, and the candles. That's just the cat scratching in the back. So I'm going to go ahead and begin here. I've already started most of it. I'm going to tell you what you're going to do. For this candle here, this is going to be the mother candle. Okay, here you're going to put everything you want to bring in. So you put prosperity, um, success, good health, money, um, motivation, energy, everything you need to put on, you're going to put it on here. All of it. They're going to write everyone's name on there with their birthday. So each and every one of your kid's name, or if it's just you, that's what you're going to put on this. You're going to put each and every one of your kid's name, your spouse's name, your name, or if it's just you, then your name, right? And your full, your birthday. After you write all of what you want to bring in. Um, and you're gonna put Somo to be. That's done, okay? You're also gonna do, you could do this. You don't have to, but you can. If you have children, you can actually use a medical lancet after you've written your petition and you're gonna put your blood onto the candle. So let's place this over because we're gonna add more stuff to this, but right now let me explain to you what I'm doing. I've also cleansed the, the candles with some eucalyptus leaves and i'm also going to do it palo santo so i just went over them like this right preparing the area where we where which we are working on to remove this negativity to remove the depression to remove the blockages that we have all ha gotten received whatever that's what we're doing right okay next thing we're gonna do okay let's do it one at a time i'm going to go ahead and start carving names on here so this is a very weak, weak little, um, I wonder if I have a harder one. I use um, these skewers to write information on 
the candles. However, this one's really weak. I'm just going to go ahead and work with that. So I'm going to go ahead and write children's names starting from the top down. I'll put the boys on one end and the girls on the other. No difference. It doesn't matter, guys. I'm just going to do that because I want to do that. That's one. Let me do the other one with the girl's name. Again, you don't have to do it boy girl just do it the way you do it don't think too much about it Perfect. It's all discombobulated, but there you go. It's all right. You're gonna need to place them on um, ceramic paper, uh, ceramic plates, or a safe plate to where which you burn candles on. All right. Take mine. Beverage here. <clears throat> okay. Next thing we're gonna need here. Let's do this one at a time. Okay. Let's take our tea. Now, you're going to need peppermint tea. I have peppermint tea. Now, if you have peppermint the leaf, then by all means use it. I wanted to show you guys this technique. I have the peppermint leaf. But I wanted to show you all this technique for people that actually don't have jars and jars of herbs. All right? So, I'm showing you guys how you can definitely attain um, herbs and work with these herbs. See this? So, I'm going to put in my peppermint leaves. One. I love peppermint tea. Great for migraines and stress. And then our third peppermint. Now, each and every one of the herbs that I'm using for the teas, they all contain their property of energy, which is what I'm harnessing in. All right, so like I said, before I even started the camera, I had already started uh, preparing and harnessing in this, um, ener this energy from these, um, from these herbs, candles, fire, all that. Next thing I'm going to be placing in here is temate, okay? Temate is a, a type of tea that I know is used a lot in Argentina. All right, and they use it um, instead of coffee. It helps to stimulate. It um, gives you energy, and I know some people use it to lose weight. We're gonna put one of those bags into the three peppermints, okay? So it's very important that you do it the way I'm telling you because if you put too much of one or the other, you may stimulate too much. Peppermint tea is to brighten, to wake up, to harness the, the mind of awakening. And then the temate is to stimulate. But we don't wanna to have too much stimulation. We don't wanna lose any more sleep. So this is why I'm using three parts of the peppermint to a uh, one part of the um, temate. The next thing I'm going to be using, this here is, um, this is a ginger and lemon tea here. And I'm, again, harnessing the energy of the ginger and the lemon too, okay? And the last thing I'm going to be adding here is the passion flower. So the passion flower, not only will it bring in, as it says, passion, I like to use passion flowers in my Love spells with passion flowers. Also, when you drink it like this, it brings tranquility and it helps you relax. It's also said to be, help you sleep, which I do use a lot. We have so much tea in this house. Tea and honey is what we like to relax with. Or just drink sometimes. I love hot teas. So I'm putting all this here on the side. Making a mess, like always, right? Get all this out of the way. My little trash bin is right here. 
All right, this is what it should look like. And this is why I like to use the little tea bags because look how small it is. And it smells so good, guys. So amazing. Okay, we're not gonna use it all. We can always save it for later. Or to drink it, because it's probably gonna make a lovely blend. Maybe like a mid-afternoon, because of the mate, it'll probably be like one that'll give you energy, but not too much energy. Another thing I forgot to mention is you need chamomile flour, all right? And that's for when I tell you to need, that you're gonna use it. So now just follow my lead, all right? Because there's a lot of stuff here that I gotta do. I'm gonna get the Palo Santo now. And I'm gonna begin to work the candles where the names are. You see this? Removing the negativity, banishing the blockages. See that? Just on the name part. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the big white one. All the way around, all the way around, all the way around. Okay? We can place this to the side. Just seen my ring here. Okay. All right, next thing we're gonna do here. We're going to take our, first off, let's start with the big guy over here. Because the big one, remember, that's where you're at. That's where the mother, father, um, head of the household is gonna be at, or you. If you're the one that's doing it, that's where you're gonna be at. And if it's just for you, by all means, use a white candle and one of these to represent you, okay? So, yes, you can just do it for one person, for yourself, absolutely. Here we go. This is here, of course. To this here, we're gonna add something else that I forgot to mention to you guys, and I do apologize. I've been working so much that I have literally forgotten what it is that I'm doing. Sometimes I gotta write down the stuff because there's so much going on right now. Oh, I can find it, where did I put it? Hmm. Holy crap, I do apologize for this. Found it, it's right next to me. <laughs> okay, you're gonna need some garrapata, okay? Garrapata essential. I'm gonna get it at the shop, guys. I just haven't, but I am gonna. And um, just request it and I can probably get it by um, the end of this week. All right, guys, just request it and I will go to the actual store, to where I get all of the wholesale stuff and get it for y'all. You just need a little bit. All right, into this oil, we're gonna add some of the cord cutting oil, which has been prepared, and I do show you guys how to make it, or you can buy it off the shop. Just a little bit about equal parts, okay? And I wanna add just a little bit, just a little bit of the peppermint essential. Just a little bit, there we go. Okay, that's it. And the carrapata we're using it because we want to attract all of that good stuff, all right? Ah, this smells beautiful. This is where we're gonna add our powders. And we want to bring in all the good stuff, and if it's do if you're doing well, then this is just gonna bring in it, bring in it, bring it in more. So if everything's going well for you, this by all means is fantastic to do as well because it's just gonna harness it and bring it in stronger for you. That's ready to go. Okay, let's place it to the side. Let's work on these guys now for them. For the children, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna add our peppermint into our hands. All right. So I'll have to work with both because I'm out of the peppermint that I have more in the back, but let me see here. I don't want to have to get up. Oh, I have some more right here. Okay, here we go. I have enough here. And I'm gonna add some more of the cord cutting oil. And we're gonna place this just on the name area, okay? On both candles. Oop. Okay, there we go. The next thing we're gonna do 
is we are going to add our sulfur. So the sulfur is gonna go only on the name area. People will say don't touch sulfur, well, I do it all the time. Okay, here we go. And look for your names on this one here. I kind of lost it, where are you? Right here. On the name area, guys. Sulfur is awesome for protection, guys. So this is what we're doing there. That's done. Okay. This goes out of the way. I'm a very messy spell caster. It is what it is. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add honey again onto the names. Over the sulfur. I'm going to do the same thing with our candle over here. See that? Same thing onto this one. Then we're gonna take our herbs and we're gonna add it over the honey, okay? Over the honey. And one of the last things I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put, this is such a mess. I'm going to put my chamomile around the candle, all right? And I'm harnessing the energy of healing of the chamomile because at the end, once it burns down, whatever burns down, whatever does not burn down, it's okay. We're going to take that and we're going to bury it in our front lawn or you can bury it in a garden, you can bury it in a potted plant. I, I strongly suggest that you do bury it um, in a tree, a vibrant tree. Um, wonderful blossoming tree at a park, at your friend's house, at your grandparents' house, wherever. There's trees all over the world. And I, I assure you, and I'm pretty sure that everybody lives around in this earth and they can find a tree, okay? A tree that's not dead, okay? This is a protective healing spell for the whole family, guys. This brings in awareness. This brings the kids it wakes them up. It gets them motivated. It protects you. It protects the fat. It protects the kids. It protects, you know, and brings in whatever is wonderful. Uh, love, beauty, prosperity, whatever you find that is good. That's what you're gonna bring in here, all right? That's what you're gonna bring in here. You could do this, you could do this at any time of the month, any time of the day. day daytime is great. However, not everybody is um, able to do spell casting during the day. So we're gonna go ahead and begin this spell casting. All right, goodness gracious. Here we go. Always do your castings with a lot of faith, a lot of love. If after first casting, nothing happens, um, believe me, when you do a casting, and I tell you all this over and over again. And I tell my clients the same thing. Just because you don't see an immediate effect does not mean it has not already began. After you do this casting, you don't see anything within the month, do it again the next month. All right, guys, you don't have to be, if you think about it constantly, 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 you're going to really like stop the work. You're going to slow it down if it was even moving at all. So have patience, which way, believe in what you're doing love yourself, love your family. And that's all I got to say. <laughs> other than guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out my other channels, guys. I'm doing my best to link all of the um, other channels in the bottom with my Instagram, my TikTok, and my tarot channel and the Spanish channel. Go check them out, guys. I'm going to be back doing some tarots tomorrow. I, I had uploaded some tarots that did not upload for whatever reason. So I have to go back and look for that video and then upload it again. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Like I said before, like and subscribe, guys. Share and like, 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 guys. It really does help out my channel. Many blessings.